Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, morphology of flowering plants in 10 minutes, even before 10 minutes. This is unit 2 chapter 5 for NCERT biology book. Uh, so this is for NEET IPMT exams. So we are going to understand all the important details and information and we want to remember that very very fast. So we are going to take the help of mnemonics and to know how exactly we are going to solve that. The very first thing that I want to talk about is the roots okay and about the different types of roots uh, and their modifications and how they are modified and everything okay so for understanding the roots you only need to remember one single line okay and that line is fat cat stays in new residency if you know this a fat cat stays in new residency from there you can easily understand everything and you can easily remember anything from uh, the roots and the types of roots their functions for NCERT biology for the neat so starts with the fat F for fibrous root, A for adventitious root and T for tap root. This is how you can easily find out. So if in the very first word fat, fibrous root, adventitious root and tap root from there you can easily get the types of root, different types of root. Now we go to the second word that is cat which is a, a modification of root okay so after knowing the types of root now we want to know the modifications of the root and that's why we see the examples a uh, the cat c for carrot a for asparagus and t for turnip so you can see turnip carrot asparagus these are the modification of the root particularly for what purpose you know turnip carrot is for storage and respiration like this is this one is for the respiration uh, in the rhizophora okay so these are like storage most this of all, of all this carrot asparagus and, tur and turnip all these things these are the part of storage food and new metaphor in rhizophora is uh, for the respiration so new if you take a new new metaphor although the spelling is different new metaphor is p-n-e-u but new for new metaphor in rhizophora is for respiration residency is a respiration so if you read this uh, sentence fat cat stays in new residency the fat gives you the different types of root okay and cat gives you c for carrot a for asparagus and as t for turnip but these three things are all storage food uh, stay is for storage food and new is new metaphor in rhizophora which is a uh, uh, s r e s res means they are modified for respiration of the plant got it so now we are going to look into the stem or leaves. How to remember stem and leaves and different uh, information regarding stem and leaves. Mina and her pet accidentally hit RV in the pavement. Mina and her pet accidentally, remember accidentally spelling is different, hit RV, uh, recreation vehicle in the pavement. So RV is just like a big vehicle. So Mina starts with Mina. Mina means lamina. You know, this is how you need to remember lamina. So this is lamina. Most of the surface bigger surface area of the leaf that is lamina then and her pet 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 for petiole petiole is this region which connects the the rest of the plant surface uh, i mean the plant leaf surface with accidentally okay axi axillary bud or auxiliary bud an auxiliary bud is uh, the connective junction between the leaf and the stem so that's how you get lamina petiole and auxiliary bud and uh, what else about this uh, this rv rv is for the structure of the leaf rv is reticulate ven venation you can see this reticulate venation this one is reticulate venation where we have a straight vein and then other veins comes out from that one okay this is reticulate venation and pavement parallel venation pavement p for parallel v ven venation okay so pavement means parallel venation parallel venation means there is only one straight line and all the other vein will come parallel to that one like that parallel venation okay so not only you understand the different structures of a leaf but you also know the types of venation of the leaf with the help of this sentence mina and her pet accidentally hit rv in the pavement got it now we move to flowers okay now the third thing is flowers and easy way to remember that is calcutta corporation hospital and gyno department is the best so calcutta corporation hospital and the gynecology department is the best if you know that if you remember that then you can easily answer the question. You know, the first thing is that cal, cal, cal for calyx, cor, cor, cor for corolla, and and for 
androecium and gyno is for gynoecium okay so this is uh, these are the different position of the floral parts okay so a for calyx so you can you can easily you, you can easily get it there okay hypogynous this is hypogynous a b and c perigynous uh, and uh, d is b and c perigynous and 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 d is epigynous okay but the different parts of the flower is calyx corolla and rhizium and gynoecium and you can easily remember that with this sentence calcutta corporation hospital and gyno department is the best now the types of astivation in corolla the different types of astivation is found in the corolla that means you know particularly what we know as uh, the the like the component of the flower that we know from outside so that is the colored full portion of a flower that is the corolla and how it is organized there are different types and easy mnemonics to remember is verbatim and uh, how to remember verbatim verbatim is a dvd and cd okay compact disc selling company so if you remember that verbatim as a mnemonic you can easily remember the different types of astivation in corolla for example valvet uh, vexillary twisted imbricate these are the four different types okay and you can say this is well velvet this is twisted twisted means slightly twisted together this is imbricate and this one is vexillary these are the four different types four different examples and types of estivation in corolla now the last thing is the types of placentation the the way placentation is done in plants are different for different plants and the easy way to remember again uh, remembering a sentence and that is map of sb okay map of sb map of fb sorry map of fb fb means facebook map of facebook m for marginal placentation a for exile placentation p for parietal placentation map and f b f for free central and b for basal so you think about it m for marginal this is marginal b for i mean uh, then a for exile uh, this is a, this is exile okay this is exile exile means is connected to the axil the central part and then uh, p for parietal this is present in the periphery and f for free so let me cut it down f for free central free central is this one which is present without any axial connection but it's not there is no spoke like structures here the only difference between the axial and free central is that central there is no spoke like connection in uh, in axial there is spoke like connection then last thing is the basal where the placentation is in the basal most part of the uh, embryo okay so this is these are the type of placentation in flowers okay and the last thing is the type of important families of plant based on the flower type okay and the easy way to remember that is this simple sentence fabulous soul of lily fabulous f a b fab for fabici soul s o l for solanaceae and lily for lilyaceae so fabici solanaceae and lilyaceae so fabici you know the example of fabici plant pisum sativum p plant then we have solanaceae solanum nigrum which is also known as makoi which is also known as the nightshade and then lilyaceae lilyaceae is allium sipa that is onion plant so these are the example on the type of important family fabaceae solanaceae and lilyaceae fabulous soul of lily so that's how easy it is to remember every single important details and information regarding the stem the, the leaves the flower and the and the root of a plant i hope this is going to be helpful if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel to get more of this kind of videos in future times thank you very much